Hi folks, so now that we've talked about passwords, how they're stored on Linux systems, we've talked about salts and, and things in the previous videos, I'm going to give you a demonstration on how you go about cracking a password uh, using John the Ripper um, and uh, Johnny. So, <clears throat> on um, let's say that we've managed to get access to this Linux system and we don't actually know what the passwords are. Uh, but, but for, through whatever reason we've managed to access uh, the password file and the shadow file and now we want to um, get access to the, uh, the actual passwords of the users. Now one um, realistic scenario would be that we happen to be a super user on this system um, and there are other users that use this system um, and so their users, depending on how you've set up authentication, could have their passwords stored and hashed on the local system. So I can use that information to find out what their passwords are and then access their other machines, for example. So um, what we're going to do is crack. Uh, I've got two low entropy passwords um, and we're going to try and crack them. Um, so this is going to be fairly straightforward. So what we need to do that is the um, the password file and the shadow file contents. So we can um, use Kali Linux because Kali is pretty great. Um, and if we just write um, password um, contents, we'll just paste it over to this Linux, uh, Kali Linux system. Um, so I'm just using cat, I'm sending the results of cat because it just repeats back to you what you give it. Um, sending that to password and just press Control D at the end to end the input. Um, and I'll do the same thing with the shadow file. Now um, I'm going to take Take the um, the shadow um, contents and put it onto the Kali Linux system, and then we can use unshadow, um, which will just combine the two back for us, and that will give us the um, what part what the password file used to contain back in the day, which is like the, all the information on one in one place. And so we want to save that as a file. Um, so let's fire up. So John the Ripper command line is, is not actually that difficult to use. Um, but for the sake of just visualizing this, um, I'm going to use uh, Johnny, uh, which is a front end. And we can open the password file. Uh, in password format we've just generated um, and that will import um, onto this system our um, users and some additional information that came from the user accounts. Johnny had, oh, and John the Ripper has some features where you can try and like guess the password based on this information uh, this additional information about the users but really all we need is to look at the hashes. Um, and in fact, you could just try guessing a password. So is it, I don't know the word, hello? No. And, you know, you, essentially this is what uh, the basic version of what it does is, is just trying to guess uh, a bunch of things. And what it does, it just computes the hash with the new input and checks whether it, it, it matches. And you could literally type away at that for, for days and maybe hit hit the correct answer, or you can basically tell it to do it. And because um, I've, you know, I've set this up to you have two very easy to crack passwords, you'll see they come up very quickly. Um, so yeah, I've just cracked um, those passwords. And so now I know that the password is password and entropy, for example. Now, um, there's a number of um, like features where you can do um, and this is what I was talking about before, it uses usernames 
and that GCOS information, so that's like the information that was on the um, the additional information listed in the um, the password file about the user, you can use that to try and mangle that to try and test for some passwords. You can use word lists, so Johnny has a word list uh, built into it, but you can also use external word lists. There are some, um, like the RockU word list is very long and comprehensive that you'll find on a Kai Linux system as well. Uh, and you can download like the most common password lists and things like that, and you can use that as the password list to the, the cracker. Uh, you can use uh, an exhaustive attack, like a brute force, that will try like different, like lots of different combinations. Um, you can use a um, like an external program, to generate passwords. Um, there are different masks that it can use to do like a hybrid approach of using like um, like words and numbers and uppercase and lowercase and those sorts of things. Um, there's a Markov feature where it can generate um, things that look like words or that fit certain patterns and things that you can um, generate. Um, and there are you know ways of combining multiple dictionaries together to create like lists of words. Um, and so like there are all these different features you can use um, to, to try and crack uh, passwords that you know to do an online um, password cracking attack and generally what you would do is just try the fastest thing first which is a standard attack and if you hit on it straight away then that's fine and then you can start um, asking it to do different kinds of um, things to, to try different kinds of passwords um, and um, I'm not going to go through all of those in the video it's pretty straightforward that you can see that you can try these things out for yourself and you should because um, uh, you know it's a um, realistic and relatively interesting thing that you can do to try and um, find someone's password so that you can um, you know get further access to a system